Now once you've fastened off, you would need to take the ends and weave them in and out. So here I have a tapestry needle. I'm just going to thread it onto my work. And I'm just going to weave this in and out so that way it um, stays hidden in the project. And a good rule of thumb is to change directions at least three times. That way, if it gets snagged on something and gets pulled, it's not gonna pull the whole line of your tail outwards because it's locked into place in different directions. So here's my first direction. Okay, I'm done, so let me thread this through again. So I went to the right, now I'm gonna work my way down. as you want just as long as you switch directions a couple of times so I'm gonna go downwards here and then I'm gonna go back this direction and what's cool about yarn is that over time with it being locked in, it kind of uh, felt it into itself, so it really locks in those fibers and um, it doesn't come undone. So then I would just take this piece and trim it. And then I wanna just pull so that way that end gets hidden into the work and you don't see it. And you would just repeat for the beginning tail as well and then your swatch is complete. 